Hey, this is Mike Flume, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you what to do after you've had your first round of appointments, student advisee appointments, and you would like to schedule another set of appointments. Um, you can either reuse the appointments that you originally had by changing the dates, uh, or you can create whole new appointments. Um, if you're going to reuse the um, existing appointments, make sure that you let the students know once you've changed those dates that they can go back in and sign up for additional appointment times. So here's what we will do. Um, um, I will go into the first appointment, for example. Um, I'll hover over it and I'll see that little arrow there and I'll click on the arrow and I'll say edit. And I will change the appointment time to the first time that I would like. February 13th and now I'm going to scroll down and make sure that the sign-up period is going to be appropriate so I'll change the link so that the students can actually sign up so that it's a date into the future um, I'll decide how many places and that's basically it um, I'll click submit And now that date has been changed, and I would just have to go through and change all the other dates. The one other thing that I'll need to do is remove all the students from each of those appointments so that they can sign up. And again, if I click on the name of the appointment, and I click on that student, and I silently remove the selected student, and click on OK, now that time becomes freed up and I would just have to go through and do that with each of the list full appointments and I'd go through I could remove the student first before I change it, it doesn't matter silently remove that student click on OK and now I can go back in and change that date. Make sure you change the date so that students know. So remember to change the date. You hover over the appointment. You'll get that um, downward arrow. Click on Edit. Change the date to the date that you'd like. And now that one's all ready to be um, Reaccessed. Um, so remember, once you've done that, you're going to want to email all of your student advisees and let them know that there's a new schedule for appointments that they can now uh, sign up for.